how do that chums i was recording but streamlabs just crashed on me and i lost my bit of footage so you catch me now in the galactic map looking for another dissonant geck system so we can go learn some geck words as well as get some of those lovely shards and things i'm having right trouble finding a geck dissonant system right now though people i mean i just saw one there but it's that's viking dissonant finding a geck dissonant system oh there we go we've got one we've got it locked in and we're off people i'll jump into game i guess so yes i want to learn the rest of the geck words um also learn some autophage words you know if you've been watching this playlist for long enough exactly what i'm up to i've just debriefed my frigates they haven't gone up to s class two are a and one is a b so no change there either hopefully that'll change after these frigate missions but yeah, I'll probably debrief them the next day. Logging in twice a day is a little bit overkill, to be honest. But then again, I will be logging in later for the weekend missions. We have arrived at Coated inside of this dissonant system. Let's go and hit on up this and see what we've got in this dissonant system. Chicka pow pow, chicka burn burn. Uh, which one's dissonant out of all of these? Oh, great. The scaly planet. All right. Okay, well, that's probably not going to have many knowledge stones on from experience people but we'll go down there anyway but before we go there we will be going to the space station i'll see you at the space station people we'll be talking to some gek well i've arrived at it over inside of space stations and i'm heading up and i can already see there's a corvax up there i do need to get the corvax language done as well i will be talking to the corvax that are up here where's all the gek oh there's one over there he was hiding amongst the plants I just oh my days it's freaking barren up here uh, hello friend yes indeedy doody i want to learn one of your words but i'm here really to learn the geck look there's only two there's only two on the corvax tree so corvax i'm gonna get done super quick or at least i think i will hello there chap yes request dialect help mate oh there's only one left on there too some mystery symbol we're nearly done with the geck heck yes will this come up that i've already let nope we're still going oh Freaking heck, the intrepidation. Am I going to complete it right here as I'm recording? Go, 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 go. Mr. No, still not everything learned. Hello, mining over. I'm trying to talk to you, mate. Yeah, just sort of kicking his heels. Request dialect help. I do love your little yellow get up. That does look quite nice. It reminds me of that little chap in it. SS Georgie, meep, meep. SS Georgie. All right, anyway, I'll talk to these guys. I'll reconvene with you in a bit, people. Okay, see you in a sec. Right, jumps. Words learned. Done and dusted. We're going to head on over to that planet now, the dissonant one, if I don't get landed on by some crazy ship pilot. Right, so we're flying on down to the planet. I don't know whether this planet's even got trading posts, to be honest. It's been a long time that I've gallivanted around on one of these sort of, you know, exotic planets. I think they've only got those weird sort of boundary failures on in a couple of odd buildings. I could be wrong. But anyway, I'm heading there. I'm coming, Roberto. Planet Roberto. Awesome. Right, so we're headed across the threshold of the planet's atmosphere. Now, normally what I would do is as soon as I level out like so, and I'm definitely inside the planet's confines. I hit on up a trading post like so. Let's see if it says that it's off planet. If it's off planet, then, you know, I probably won't be going to it. Yeah, look, it's off planet. Right, so we can go there later and maybe learn a couple of words, but I don't think we're going to be learning many words on this planet. But there we go. Look, we've got some we've got some Aladiantiums there. Nice. Whatever that is. I'm not seeing too many shards just sort of hovering over this. Oh, look what we've got over there. We've got like a corrupted sentinel sort of thingy there. All right. Well, that, there's, there's a shard right there. Let's just land by that for now. But you know what I could have done? I could have actually popped the actual Echoes camp, couldn't I? Because it looks like today's episode, people, rather than learn a load of Gek, it looks like I'm going to be learning a load of Autophage stuff, mainly because of what this planet dictates. All right, so let's go into the old multi-tool. Hold on. What's going on with my starship? It looked empty, didn't it, for a second? That was weird. I'm sure it showed as empty. All right, anyway, let's uh, hit that. Boom. Lovely. Jubbly. Blue man, i got auto badge cam. Sweet. And that's on another planet as well. Right, so I guess this episode then, people, we can go to another planet. We're not going to be sticking around on here. 
So it just means I'm not going to get any of the uh, shards. I mean, I've got one this episode. One. Brilliant. Okay. But you know what? I'm going to head towards the trading post, post first, learn a few more geck words, and then we're going on over to that, that, that uh, autophage camp. I'll see you at the autophage camp unless something amazing happens at the trading post. You've seen me talk to Gex before. I have come across something fairly amazing. Check out his name. Prospector Toss. Yeah, he doesn't give a toss. Heck no. Okay, well, let's just talk to this guy then. Mystery symbol. And there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful Toss. Nice. Okay, well, I think I've spoke to all of them bar this one in this corner right there. He seems to be analysing my ship for some reason. You like that? It's a good ship, isn't it? Heck yes. Are yeah, you going to have words for me, my friend? Wait, thank you, Attendant Og. Right, okay, I guess we're heading over there then. We haven't learnt all the geg words, there's still some left. Oh, I'm stuck on a bloody ladder. What the actual fudge? My jetpack's going mental. I'm going all weird. Okay, right, let's head on over here then. Let's uh, fly on over to the... Um, come on, let me in my bloody ship, mate. Okay. Oh, look, there's giant crab creatures on this planet. There's, I saw a big sort of giant rat creature a momentarily ago just crawling around on the surface. Not that you can see it now. All right, fine. Oh, there he is. Look, there he is. I told you, giant rat creature. Look at that thing. What the fudge is that all about? And there's a giant freaking crab creature, another giant rat creature. Right, anyway, creature spotting over. Let's go to the autophage camp, which is a little way away. I'll fly up in space and fly back down again. See you in a moment. Jumps, right, well I've arrived decoded at this Echo camp and I'm just going to hit up the Echoes and go and say hello, go and learn their words. Why did one only one appear? Let's try that again. There we go, now we've got a few more. Hello mate, yes yeah, you look like a road cone but I'm, I'm sure that's what the look you was going for, right? Okay, here we go then, let's, um, let's talk to this guy. Now people, I was watching back one of my videos the other day on doing exactly this. I fell asleep. I fell asleep watching my own freaking content. And that's not good, people. Heck no. I'm trying to make this as interesting as possible, but if I'm falling asleep and it's my freaking content, then I, I don't know how to make it any more interesting than I am, people. But this is Endgame No Man's Sky. And I've been saying for a while now, people, although, although that, you know, that they've added so much in, is it really worthwhile content? You know, and am I. Am I still sort of getting a challenge? Am I enjoying this as much as what I would do on other end game content? I mean, New Game Plus on this game is pretty much irrelevant, isn't it? You know, it's, it's a bit of an oddity. I wish that they would revisit the gameplay loop. I really do. I really wish there was meaningful reason to come back in and pick up. It's like doing all this stuff with the autophages, okay? They've introduced a load of missions, but the missions are fetch quests, they're gathering quests. They're grindy as fudge. There's nothing here that says, oh, that's awesome. It would have been nicer if they introduced some boss fights. Maybe take on some of those um, corrupted sentinels or or something. Anything. Anything that just proves a little bit more end gamey, a bit more meaningful, a little bit more in-depth than this, you know? Hello, mate. Yeah, there you go. There's your starship scrap. Fun times, huh? Right, okay, let's head on over and see this guy. Hello, Chappie. What have you got for me? Any repair autophage? I've got to talk to, like, 300 of these. I've got to go into here, practice language, and I've got to do that 300 times. All right. There needs to be a way to learn these words quicker. Uh, I know that doing some of the missions, sometimes they give you, like, extra standing or something. Um, or void motes. And sometimes they give you the odd word. Look, autophage words, time two. But even still... That's a lot of freaking stuff, isn't it? It's a lot of stuff to do. There you go. I spoke to him, done that, done, dilly, and done. It'd be nice if over at this terminal here you could exchange the void note moats after you've built your freaking staff, why the heck not, for a whole load of um, words. You could buy like a lexicon and it gives you five words or something. And maybe that costs you 500 void, void moats. Five words, 500 moats. I think that's. More than freaking reasonable. I really hope that Hello Games is watching Hello Games implements that because, to be honest, I've had more fun watching paint dry. I honestly have, because at least sometimes you get pareidolia in paint drying. You can kind of make out faces and stuff. You see, I'm an expert at watching paint dry. This, to me, is more tedious than that, and that's saying something, you know what I mean? Anyway, are there any knowledge stones on horizon? There is. There's one just there. So I'm going to head up to this knowledge stone. I'm going to hit up said knowledge stone, learn an extra word of the geck, 
I might call in an exocraft and get myself over to a knowledge stone get another free sort of words there if I don't see another knowledge stone from this knowledge stone yeah let's just see if this planet is any good for knowledge stones it's good for giant rat creatures look at them they're having fun then all right let's have a look around any others for any others let's have a little butchers there's quite a lot of fauna on this planet in fact yeah look there's one over there so you know what i'm just going to do a little bit of jumping around the planet hitting up knowledge stones and then i might find another autophage camp or i might go to a knowledge uh whatever it's called one of those monoliths in a bit but anyway i'll see you guys in a sec i'm just going to continue my gallivanting around people and learning gek words endless it does feel endless it really does Okay, well, I did neither of those things. I hit on up a relic instead, people. So I'm going to go land at the relic. Then I'm going to find an auto page camp. Then I'm going to go to a monolith last. Um, just to mix it up a bit. So I'm, I'm doing a bit of gek, a little bit of auto page. You know, yeah, might as well add in my own variety into my play just to save myself from falling asleep. There we go. Boom. Learn that one. Gek remains. How many words remain? That's the question, eh, isn't it? That's the question. That's the million dollar question. When I said this one up, bam! In fact, I, I, you don't answer that, people. I haven't got a million dollars to give you for the answer. Right, so let's head on up here. And is this the thing I interact with? No, that's just a random ball. Let's head on over there then. Let's hit this one. Lovely. Hello, Gleg Plaque. Yes, I'd like to seek language, please. It's a secret. It's a secret how many words are left, is it? Right, great, fun. Okay, well, there's already two knowledge stones on this plinth. There's one there. Yeah, and one there. No others. Fun time, so I learned three words total. All right, well, let's hit on up another autophage camp then, shall we, people? Chicka boom! Heck yes, navigational data received. I'll see you there, people. When it zoomed up into the air, I think I saw a colossal archive in fairly close proximity of this relic site i think it's just over this way maybe let's see if i can fly up a little bit higher to see if i can spot it ah balls okay maybe i got that thrown around the wrong way somehow all right well there was an, an archive site in close proximity to this you know what what i could do is fly down like this and fly directly up like so so I get a bit of height turn it back round looking down at the planet right I think that's where my relic site was let's just um, fly on down slowly mm -mm -mm -mm. right is that it? just there? what we can see there? Is that going to be a colossal archive? Or is that the relic site? Oh, it's not a colossal archive. It's just a poxy building. All right, well, that didn't work, did it? All right, well, um, yeah, I think that served as a distraction. Get back. Right, OK, well, I can't even see the relic site now, so that was fun anyway. All right, cool. There you are. Just wasted five minutes of your time. I'll see you at the auto page site. I guess that's a drop pot. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's just set this down here. Let's go scan the auto phages. Jump on out. Leg it over. Hiya! Scan! Holy fudge. I nearly got stuck in a box. Hello there, matey. Uh, yeah, I'm behind you. There you go. Yeah, spin around in your chair, sir. Here we go. Gears whirl faintly. I heard them in your chair then, my friend. That was pretty gnarly, in fact. You've got skills. Quest dialect help. And there we are. We're still learning words. I'll be right back with you after I've spoke to all these people. Bloody heck. It sounds like there's Jurassic Park in the background. What the actual fudge? Okay, jumps, you've caught me flying over to once the monolith. Yes, I've got my hat on. It's getting a bit warm in my room. I took my hat off. Anyway, it's only 13 seconds to get there. People, I've also talked quite a fair few autophages, done a fair few autophage missions, learned a fair few autophage words, to the point that I'm kind of autophaged out now. I do have to return to some of the autophages just to turn in a couple of missions, which I'll do towards the end. 
And then rather than go and debrief my frigates, because there's still a couple of hours remaining on that one, I'll probably leave that until tomorrow morning. So slow down a bit on the old frigate sort of stuffage, I think, people. Right, so here we go. Let's hit that one up. Boom. Then, like I say, I'm doing the weekend mission um, later today. So I might debrief my frigates if I, if I remember then. Don't know. Anyway, we've done that. I'll head on up here. Let's do the little riddle, because there are some odd ones that occasionally let you learn about ten words, if you're very lucky. There we go. You usually get three choices on those ones. OK, well, Neil, try to communicate. Turn away. OK, I'm going to try and communicate. Yeah, there we are. Sweet. There we go. And there's probably nothing that's going to happen there. Might lose some standing. No, nope, nothing. OK, right. Yeah. So let's go and return these. Boom. Let's go. Meow. And I'll go return these to the auto page. I'll be a moment. But back to the drop pod, and I think I've got two missions to hand in here, and then I think I'm pretty much done. However, I've got one more tip for you guys. If you do want to um, learn the language quite fast and quite easy of one of the main races, like Gek, Corvax, and whatever, I'll show you in a second. So let's just talk to this guy. And in mission, lovely jubbly. Um, I've got one more to hand in. Be nice if it auto selected, wouldn't it? But nope, it didn't do that for me. Hello there, chum. Hand that in as well. Lovely, that should be my mission roster cleared. Hook yours. Right, now for that little tip. Now, I've only been to two planets in this system. There's, what, five planets in this system? So if I just head on over to this one here, let's just head towards that one. Hopefully it's not that one that I came from. That one there, that's cool. So I haven't actually been on this planet yet. As soon as I break the atmosphere and level out, if I scan for another trading post, it should find one on this planet. It shouldn't point me back to the one that I've just been to. So you can hit up a trading post on every single planet, talk to the actual guys there, and learn that language a little bit quicker, you know, without having to go around looking for knowledge stones. Now, another thing while you're flying down to the planet to do this, you could hey, take a look at the planet's surface and see if you can spot any knowledge stones just sitting there inside of the wild, because they do seem to have a different sort of spawn rate from planet type to planet type. See, I've not seen many knowledge stones here, but then it could just be my rendering, couldn't it, you know? But yeah, some small planets, like moons, some of those have got lots of knowledge stones. Look, there's a knowledge stone right there. Yeah, so if I land by that one, I could probably take a look to see if there's another knowledge stone in close proximity. There you go, the trading post isn't too far away. So let's just land by this knowledge stone. So that last planet I was on was quite good for knowledge stones. I found quite a lot in close proximity to one another. So if I hit this one up, boom. And then if I just scan around, let's see if we can spot any other knowledge stones close to this one. Some planets are freaking awesome for this. Look, there's, there's one over there, 200 and odd years away from one another, which is kind of acceptable in a roundabout way. But I'm talking uh, some of them I've, I've been to about 90 to 100 years away from each other. So you can just do one melee strafe jump from one knowledge stone to the other. I used to have three planets saved for each of the races for just doing this. You know what? I haven't checked in my portal repository to see if I still have those bases locked in from all that time ago. Now, the only reason why I haven't been doing this, now that's the one that I've just hit up, Sadly, that's the thing now. After you've actually activated the knowledge stone, it still shows on the freaking radar, which is a bit... hasn't helped. Hasn't helped that, people. So I'll just head on over to the trading post anyway. But yeah, I'm, I'm half tempted to just check my old portal, just to see if that's the case. Yeah, the reason I haven't done it this time is because of all the radiant shards and the echo sites and things. But it seems to be that you can still find echo sites on non-dissonant worlds, which... I didn't know was a thing. I know that's a bit of a shameful thing to admit, but yes, I didn't know that was a thing. I thought they only appeared on distant sites. Not true. That's the uh, Corrupted Sentinels, isn't it? Okay, people, well, we're heading over to this Dryden post. So let's go and land here and let's take a little look, see, shall we? And then, yeah, I might jump on up to the station, hit up the portal, just to see if I still have those old, old bases. I've got a funny feeling I may have deleted them, though. But yeah, we're going to have a look-see. Anyhow, let's run on in here. Let's go chat to these guys. That looks like the original Radiant Pillar that's just flown in, doesn't it? That's almost identical to the starter ship, in fact. Holy fudge. Dujori's Prize, DC-6. Well, there you go. Well, if you want a variant of it, I mean, it's fairly close anyway. There you go. There's the coordinates in the bottom left corner of the screen there, people. Anyway, let's run down and let's go talk to these little Gekians. Hello there, Gekian guy. 
looks like you know like when you order food at a restaurant and they put your tickets on that revolving thing it looks like he's got one of those on his freaking head they order up curly up some out of a word it says goodbye well hello goodbye well it looks like we're still going on these words I honestly thought I would have exhausted all of these long ago now, people. We've had this mystery symbol showing up in this list. Freaking ages! Okay. How many bloody words are there in that one bloody folder? Okay, so I don't know if it's this one. It's a mystery, people. That's why it's mystery. Ugh. Like there was like 20 in each and then 50 million in this one. Who freaking knows? Alright, there you are. Hello, mate. You've got to be careful because if they offer to come to your blinking gaff there's a good chance i might go and replace one of the guys that i've built a relationship with i say built a relationship with i just uh, don't want to lose them all right well there's no other gex on that side now like i say i could go to all the planets and i could do this on all the planets if i wanted to but you know what i'm kind of exhausted for today in doing all of this you know where's my ship gone oh it's the opposite side dang it okay let's fly on over here then let's go and hit on up my ship I'm going to jump in my ship, out of my ship, create staff. Actually, no point. I'll be jumping out of my ship when I get to the station. Why not? And then I'm just going to check the portal list. So I'll see you at the station, people. Okay, and here we are. At the station. Oh, gosh. Let's hit on up my station terminus. I say mine. It belongs to the station. Look at this. All of my screenshots have gone like fuzzy. And that happened after I blew up my own freighter. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Bad Steve. Okay, but anyway, it's completely knackered all my thumbnails. And even the new ones I take go a little bit weird. All right, anyway, let's uh, carry on down. Let's see if we can spot one of these. Corvax Archive, no. I think I've deleted them. I honestly do. Because I thought I'd learnt all the language. I didn't think they were going to add in more language. But they have. Okay, um... Yeah. I think I would have seen it already by now. It was ages ago that I did this. Eh... Yeah. Nip farm hauler, no, 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 no. I think we're getting a bit too far in now, people. Yeah, watch a one, watch a two, watch a three. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I've got it anymore. I don't think I've got them. Nope, don't have them anymore, people. Don't have them. So I may as well just teleport back to my um, freighter, ready for tomorrow's. Well, actually, no, it's the weekend. I don't do any No Man's Sky at the weekend at the moment, people. My weekends, I spend those in Cyberpunk at the moment. So, yes, hit a, if, you're, if you're interested in Cyberpunk, I'll be doing that, which is pretty darn cool. Okay, where well, I'm on my freighter. There's my new news desk, which I built the other day in yesterday's episode. One of these. Oh, somebody told me that if I delete this statue, I stop hearing Viking noises every five seconds. Let's just see if that's true. Delete. Ah, that worked. That got rid of the Viking noises. Why does a Gek holographic statue make Gek noises? Well, thank you very much, whoever left me that comment. That freaking worked. Sluta Mondo I would never have guessed that in a million freaking years. Oh, that's so annoying. Why does a hologram even need to make freaking noises? Oh, that's just so freaking weird. Anyway, people, that's me done, I think. Yes, because I think my frigate missions... Are, yeah, my frigates are still out. And I think I went and foolishly selected one that takes like half a day or something mental, didn't I? Let's have a quick look, see? Yeah, I've still got another 40... Oh, 41 minutes, that's not too bad. And this one is the one that I've done for six hours or something mental. Anyway, people, I'll see you guys again fairly soon. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.